Hey guys, what's up? It's your boy Two Phones back again with another informative video. Now this is my full review of the new Mobile G3 Plus. Now I know a lot of you all seen a lot of videos out on YouTube and you know Instagram, Twitter, maybe even Facebook, um, Snapchat, maybe. Uh, so this phone is getting a lot of wave. It's been getting a lot of attention, and for the simple reason, it's it's new to the game, it's new to the industry, and it's it's got an affordable price. It's got a very affordable price. Uh, it can get the job done for most people, even for kids, it can get the job done. You don't have to spend $600, $700 on a you know, smartphone for your child, your teenager, your, your kid in college, or even for young adults that's on the come up and, you know, uh, trying to save money for college or don't want to spend so much money um, on a smartphone that they're going broke. <laughs> so this is a perfect device uh, for these type of people that just want something that freaking works. And I have to admit, this phone just freaking works right out the gate, right out the box. There's no real issues on the smartphone. And you wouldn't even think that it has a 720p screen. And once again, for those on limited data plans, uh, you can get on the cheapest unlimited data plan and you still won't feel like you're, you know, overusing data as much as you're on one of those $1,000 phones, $700, $600, or even $500 phones with those high-end, you know, specked out smartphones because you're going to pay the penny. But with, with this, you're not going to pay the penny. You're, you're going to get what you ask for. Um, so... With new mobiles G3 Plus, you get 4,000 milliamp battery. You get dual uh, lenses on the rear, fingerprint, flash on front and back. Um, you get portrait mode. You get pro mode on your cameras. I've got other videos um, how you know broken down uh, with other phones versus this one, and you can check those in the link description box. And you get almost stock Android. You get the closest to stock android as possible no it's not the google pure pixel launcher or anything like that but it's just some things that new mobile has added to the device that you know that makes it easier to use um now this is a 5.8 inch screen um 720p so you have to keep that in consideration and um yeah they do have their own ram management um you know, tools and stuff like that. So if that's what helps you, then that's cool. Uh, let's see. What is the real big downside to this device? Um, unfortunately, if you're used to having a headphone jack, it comes with the um, dongle and you have to input it right here to use your wired headphone jack. I mean, wired headphones. So, but if you use wireless everything, there's no worries. You got Bluetooth capabilities. Um, right here so you have bluetooth um not to forget to mention you even have nfc so you can use google pay paypal you can use this phone without taking out your wallet you can just tap and pay and which is really a cool feature that a lot of people like um also you get face id on the smartphone you get face id i can turn off the screen and i can unlock it Let's see if it worked. Now nah, it's not going to work right now. But uh, I can unlock it. As you can see the little icon at the bottom, that means I can unlock it with my face. And so you have a lot of security on the smartphone for $230. Um, now, what networks it runs on, um, I'm using FreeUp Mobile with this device, which is a free phone service. And it's it's really good, guys. It's, it's a really good service. Um, my 30 days is about to be up. That review is coming tomorrow. I'll let you guys know how that is. And it's running on AT&T network. It's also dual SIM, which means you can have AT&T and T-Mobile. And it just depends on, you know, if you're that type of person that want to save a lot of money on phone services, you can mix and match. Now, like I said, with free up mobile, they give you free calls and texts and you can get a T-Mobile, let's say T-Mobile um, $30 on data plan. <coughs> Or you could get Mint Mobile and use that for the data. So you can get free up in Mint Mobile with dual SIM support. Um, and that's really cool. That saves you a lot of ton of money on your smartphone service since you spent $200 on this device. Now, it's unlocked GSM. You can add an SD card. 
to it, but most people can get by with 64 gigs of onboard storage. And this is what this device has, 64 gigs of onboard storage with four gigs of RAM. No, it's not the Snapdragon processor, but the MediaTek Helio P25 holds up to um, its expectations and, and maybe even more. Now, like I said, with the 4,000 milliamp battery, it should be easy enough to you get by. Now, I would show you camera quality, the picture quality, but I feel that on screen, it's really not worth it depending on your resolution of the video you're showing. So if you want to see my images from this device, uh, I'd be glad to leave a link in the description box so you can see the full picture. I, I just recommend you using it, uh, watch it, uh, check, checking out the photos on a, a PC because most PCs don't, you know, compress the, the, the picture quality. Like if, if I uploaded it to Instagram or Twitter or Facebook, stuff like that, or even Hangouts and Google Plus. So you have to think about that in really consideration. And it has portrait mode. Like I said, it's portrait mode. It's not the best portrait mode out there, considering that, you know, this is a $200 sub smartphone. So you have to keep that in consideration that you're not going to get the very best selfies or the very best portraits or rare. But once again, it does include pro mode. So you can always adjust your picture quality, your images the way you want to. And it does film in 1080p. And like I said, I'll put link out in the description box. You want to check out my Google photos. Uh, I'll leave a link. But overall, um, if once again, if you're if you're trying to find a, a smartphone in a $200 price range, this one is the way to go. Now, now the sound quality isn't all that great. It's not the best in the market. I still will put it. I still give the Moto E5 Plus, the Moto G6, um, Sony Xperia. I, I would still pick those over this for the simple fact they have different sound features for like in in ear or you know headphone jack and stuff like that but the speaker quality is pretty good when you're in calls the call quality is very good so once again you got to keep all these in mind uh, when you're purchasing a smartphone especially on android but overall if i had to choose um in a 200 dollars range this would be the smartphone to go I would even pick this over the Moto G6 for the simple fact that, once again, it has that 4 gigs of RAM, so you have the extra RAM management and 64 gigs onboard storage. Plus, you have SD card and it's dual SIM. So, you could take this even out the country without no worries, no needs. You know what I'm saying? So, give or take, it, it always depends on what you're looking for in a smartphone. Um, now, once again, what I don't, uh, what you might not like about this device is it's not water resistant. So even today, I just took it out in the rain and I was really scared, you know, for it, it was pouring down for a second. I was really scared to even bring it out. But, you know, I, I do have like a little case on it. So, you know, it, it keeps the back protected, but I was afraid of the screen, you know, getting any water damage or anything like that. So if you're looking for a water resistant smartphone or water repellent, you might want to look elsewhere. All right. Now, if wireless charging is your thing. This does not have wireless charging. And once again, if you're looking for that headphone jack, it is nowhere near to be found. So keep that in mind. Or if you look for a fingerprint in the front, it doesn't have a fingerprint on the front, but it does have it on the back. But I do have to, I, I must say that it's in the right placement. It's in the right placement for the fingerprint. And it's really, it's really snappy. Um, yeah, I just tapped it. It Look, it's really snappy. The face ID is cool. Fingerprint sensor is cool. Um, like I said, the downsides is the speaker, no water resistance, no wireless charging. Um, it's not 1080p. It's not 1440p. So if you're into those type of specs, then you might want to look elsewhere. It doesn't have the best camera in the quality. I mean, best camera in the game. But you can get by with the smartphone. Um, now, like I said, if you're looking for a device for your kid, uh, your teenager, or a young adult that's in college, or, you know, you, you just need a replacement smartphone, then I would recommend this. But where can you go get this device from? You can get it from Amazon Prime. Now, here's the deal with the Amazon Prime. The Amazon Prime new mobile G3 Plus, you get three months of free service with Mint Mobile. So keep that in mind if you're trying to get this phone. Even if you didn't like the phone service, maybe you could give a SIM to somebody and let them get three months of free phone service with, with data, with, with unlimited data and talking text. So 
Once again, keep that option in mind. But if you get it straight from New Mobile G3 Plus, I mean, New Mobile website, you'll just be getting the phone and all the accessories that come included. Now, I do have an unboxing video, and you can check out that before. All right, so um, the final verdict with this phone. Like I said, if, if you're just trying to get something under 250 bucks or in that $200 sub range, then go with this go with this phone. You, you're really not going to lose, and you just need something for a replacement, something to get you by till you get the, I don't know, Samsung Galaxy S10 or iPhone Max 10 or well, whatever device you're trying to get and you just don't want to, you know, cough off $500 for a replacement phone, then the new mobile G3 Plus is the way to go. All right, guys, this is my full review of this nice, beautiful smartphone. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Uh, what do you like or what do you don't like about the G3 Plus? What would you like to see? Oh, one more disclaimer and disclosure. Um, this device isn't getting updates right now. So I'm not sure what the deal is with the update situation. But like I said, the, the, the phone is, is still smooth. I mean, it still runs like brand new. It still runs like brand new um, and things in that sort. But keep that in mind. This is on Android 8.0. And it's still on October security patch. Whereas there are other smartphones out there in the same range that's fully updated, even on Android 9. But other than that, if you're not an update hoarder, you're not caring about updates, you just want a phone to replace a broken phone right now, then I would recommend it. All right. And it has LED light. It has the LED light notification. So, yeah, I don't know. There you go. Yeah. So, yeah, if you guys like those Features and functionalities and specs and quality. Uh, I say get it. All right. Here we go. New mobile G3 plus full review.